Hello YouTube, um, been a little while since I posted something, so um, on one of my last videos, link up here somewhere, God knows, um, there was a product I was looking at which was the Turtle Wax Ceramic Coating. Uh, I know ceramic coatings are getting a lot of press and a lot of people are using them. There's professional ones and people that professionally do it, which I am not, as you know from my videos. But um, I used the ceramic coating a, a few weeks ago, um, found it okay uh, at the time, put far too much on. I openly admit that and I've said that in the comments on the video. Uh, but to get rid of the streaking that it left, I used um, my normal um, auto glim polish on top of it. Um, but it's raining outside at the moment, chucking it down actually, slowing down slightly so I'm going to be quick. But we're going to dip outside, just have a, a quick look at the, uh, the bonnet on the S3 and um, yeah, try and make a comparison, see if it's any good. Uh, I, I don't know, I mean I've used polish for years, I, I polish it a lot, maybe that's the best thing to do, maybe the ceramics the best thing to do, I don't know. Let's have a look outside and see what we can make of it all. <laughs> just a quick video, um, it's bucketing down. So I thought I'd have a quick look, see how the old ceramic coating is going. Looks alright. It was bouncing off the bonnet a minute ago. It slowed down a little bit now, but uh, yeah. Um, I can't make my mind up whether it's ceramic coating that's making it bead so well or whether it's the, the polish I used on top of it. Um, but there you go. That's what the bonnet of the S3 looks like. Enjoy. And just as a bit of a comparison, um, the Mrs. car just had normal polish on it. Definitely think there's a difference. Hard to tell on camera, I'm sure, but although it's beading off this quite well, mm, there does seem to be a bit of a difference on the S3. Yeah, 